the ups and down. At times, I remember those years in London when going to work. You know that we have different kinds of weather in London. At times, yes, it's cold, it's cold. But when it gets to bitterly cold, then at times you'll be bleeding. You won't even know that you are bleeding. From, from the north, yes, it happened to me several times. We bring videos like this to encourage those of us that are new in the UK, those of us who recently relocated to the UK, because we've seen a lot of video on the cyberspace, a lot of our people, Nigerians, Africans, complaining that the UK is too difficult. This, you know, is not what we were told. We were told that as soon as we get to the UK, we'll make it, we've sold our houses, our cars, you know, to come to the UK. And then when we arrive, the UK is a different ball game. I have a video that I want every one of us are there to see today and i just want to let you know that indeed there is light at the end of the tunnel it doesn't mean that because you are new in the uk things are not going your way the way you planned it that okay this is how it's going to remain forever no some of us have been in the uk me personally i've been in the uk for quite you know you know some years now i really don't want to mention but um over eight years in the UK. And by the special grace of God, when I came, the way things were then and now it is quite different. You know, even if you are relocating from Lagos to Benin or from Benin to Abuja, it's not going to be easy at first. Even if you have everything in place, you still find it difficult to navigate, you know, around. So you relocating to the UK is no different. You, sh you know, sometimes things will be difficult. And I have this uh, Nollywood mommy. I want us to hear a story, what she passed through here in the UK. But the way she is now, a position now, oh my goodness, I thank God for life. Before that, if you are meeting me for the first time, you are welcome to my channel. Yes, guys welcome to my channel my name is joanne Ekeke, and i'm based here in united kingdom england to be precise yes guys so what i do on this very channel you are seeing i talk about life happenings life realities you know that we nigerians africans asians that we face here in the uk and other parts of the world so if content like this interests you before leaving this very video please subscribe subscription is free it's not going to cost you anything subscription is free and remember to click on the notification bell because that's the only way you get notified each time i post new video here on this very channel you don't want to miss out on any video and do not forget to share this video please share this video let people out there see this video and if you're my returning subscriber i appreciate you thanks for your support Thanks for always coming back to check on your girl. Yes, guys. With that being said, I will let you guys see this video of our Nollywood, veteran Nollywood actress known as Shola Sobowale, popularly known as Tony Tomanto. You guys remember that? Um, I think that series back then in Nigeria, back in the days. Let me leave that video now for you guys to see. Yeah, from her, what she went through here in the UK. Eh? Oh my goodness. In fact, hear from her and then I will be back. Well, they said, my mom would say, prayer is the key to everything in life. The ups and downs. At times, I remember those years in London when we going to work. You know that we have different kinds of weather in London. At times, yes, it's cold, it's cold. But when it gets to bitterly cold, we're back gone. Then at times you'll be bleeding. You won't even know that you are Oof. bleeding. From from the north, yes, it happened to me several times. And one day I was going and I cried. I will never forget that song that I sang. When I go, I said, okay, if I take the train, I knew I was I was living in Woolwich. And I was working in Richmond. 
<coughs> southeast to southwest. <laughs> if I take the train, it's faster. It's gonna be more than one and a half hours. Like one hour. Stop over and two. One hour. Oh, three one hour plus. But I said, okay, I I check my my salary. I said if I take this out this month, then it will affect this. It will affect that. So I said, let me take the bus. Taking the bus, that means I have to do like five stopovers. So, so I have to travel like three and a half hours to get to work. So, my work starts when? My work starts at eight. 8 a.m. Now, so minus when I got on the first bus to travel like three and a half hours. And when I go, so I decide when I see that, ah, it's too far. So let me do two jobs. Then I start in Richmond, 8 p.m. I mean, 8 a.m. I finish 8 p.m. Then I move. From 8 p.m., then I will run to the bus stop to catch that bus. If I miss it, the other one will come 15 minutes after. I'm going to be, be late for the other job. I finish. I run to the, to the bus stop. Take another one, bus 68. That will take me to early. I'm going to Bradford. Then I will start that job at 9, half meter 7. And I do that every day. I only go home. What? day to sleep so this very day i was going to work it was bitterly cold and i started bleeding and i went and i was crying and i was singing I sang it and I cried. I cried. Ah, but today I say very big thank you to God Almighty. I went and I conquered. And when I see my children, I say, yes, I am a mother. I am a Biamo. I mean, I am a Yaomo. I am the full definition of a motherhood. Thank God. Welcome back, guys. We've heard from our mommy. We saw the video. We heard direct from her. So I want you guys to know that those of you that are relocated to the UK now that are complaining, oh, things are so difficult. Don't worry. Tomorrow is going to be a different ball game. Yes, there are some people who came into the UK. I remember someone said he arrived in the UK with 200 pounds seven years ago. As I speak with you now, he's married with kids. He's doing very, very well. He's comfortable here in the UK. Whatever position, whatever situation you find yourself now in the UK, remember this, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's going to shine again. Yes, it's going to shine again. I know some of us are passing through difficulties, especially those of us that have got a license. The license of our sponsors revoked. We are looking for COS here and there, and the COS is not forthcoming. You are thinking, what can I do? I don't have anything. If I go back home, I've sold everything I have back home. There is no way I can go back home because if I go back home, what am I going to? I don't have any property, any asset back home in Africa or in Nigeria or in Asia. So why will I go back? Don't worry. Just keep praying and keep believing God. Work hard. I know there are a lot of care homes that are still giving sponsorship and also the nhs it's just that sometimes some of our people want already made work hard you know 
dig deep, research, go on Google, search for some of these companies, not agencies now. Care homes, any shares, jobs that are giving visa sponsor sponsorship. Apply to those jobs. Try to do research. Read, prepare for the interview. Make sure you have all the required um, documents, all the documents that they require. Apply. Keep applying. Don't worry. For every no that you get as a reply, just know that a yes is very, very close. All right, guys. With that being said, I'll see you in my next one. I hope this video has been able to motivate someone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.